Hi guys, uh, it's Mr. Wilder, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some basic economic stuff. Uh, we're finishing up our first week of class, seven days together, and um, there's a few things I want to go over and make sure that you understand. Uh, and so we'll do it with this PowerPoint. So uh, one of the basic things we need to know about economics is the idea of scarcity. And this is just how we deal with not having enough stuff, right? Uh, here's some food for thought for you. By graduating from high school, how much more money will you make than someone who doesn't graduate over your lifetime? I think most of you know you're going to make more, but let's take a look at the actual figure. You're going to make about $283,500 or about $9,500 a year. That's a lot. Okay. Let's look at this. By graduating from college, how much more money will you make than someone who doesn't graduate from high school over your lifetime? Wow. Uh, $918,000 or about $30,000 a year. Again, big chunk of money. So, what is economics? Uh, definition is the study of how people satisfy their needs and wants. Okay? Uh, we tend to use money to purchase our needs and wants. Uh, we also do things like trading, bartering, uh, which is trading uh, one thing for another. Um, and also we uh, sometimes make things ourselves. Uh, so, And there's other methods of getting things we want, like stealing, uh, but we won't go into that. But mainly we use money and bartering. Uh, first of all, make sure we understand the idea of needs. Uh, you guys all know that needs are, are things that people uh, have to have to survive. Uh, things like food, water, shelter, the bare necessities, right? And then there's wants. Wants are those things uh, you would like, but you don't need to survive. These are the things we tend to ask for for Christmas, uh, for birthdays, uh, the things that are nice, uh, but we don't have to have them. An example would be a car, uh, iPad, concert tickets, etc. The idea of scarcity, a uh, real quick definition, is just a limited amount of resources to meet unlimited wants and needs. We always want more and more stuff, but uh, we have a limited amount of resources, primarily money. Uh, but everything is scarce. Time, uh, oil, uh, diamonds, whatever. Uh, there's scarcity of everything, and it's, at some point, uh, we can't meet those needs. Okay. So why do we have scarcity? Basically, again, because we have unlimited wants and needs. But uh, we have also limited resources. So even though we want a lot of stuff, there's only so many resources out there to provide that stuff. That creates scarcity. So because of scarcity, we have to make choices. Economics is kind of the study of those choices. And we ask, we ask these three questions. What do we need to produce? How to produce it? And for whom are we producing it? Uh, these are the three fundamental economic questions. Okay. Causes of scarcity. Uh, a lot of times, kind of a personal perspective, your own feelings of what is needed or wanted. I'm starving. I'm broke. Uh, whatever. Uh, sometimes it's a poor distribution of resources. We don't use our resources to their full potential. Like uh, you may have said at some point in your life, I never have enough time, yet I watch six hours of television a day. I don't have enough money for college, but I have a pair of $200 sneakers. Uh, you know, so we don't use our resources. We don't always distribute those wisely, and that creates some scarcity. Sometimes there's a rapid increase in demand. This can cause a shortage. Uh, which is temporary scarcity, I guess. Uh, we need to look at that. It's not permanent. Uh, things like Tickle Me Elmo dolls or Xboxes or Beanie Babies, which are, can become very popular very quickly, especially around Christmas time. Then uh, once people have purchased those, uh, the demand for those goes down and the shortage disappears, so they're not scarce anymore. Some ways that we deal with scarcity, uh, sometimes we just do without it. Uh, there's things that uh, we want, uh, but we just do without it. Uh, you may have heard your parent or teacher say, shut up, kid. You'll get nothing and you'll like it. Uh, you may make a decision like, I'll go to prom, uh, but I'm not going to go on the senior trip. Uh, maybe instead of driving to the theater, you'll stay home and watch a movie because it's cheaper and you'll save money on gas. So sometimes we change our plans because of scarcity. Sometimes we create more resources. We get a second job. Uh, maybe around the holidays, uh, a lot of parents will get a second job, so uh, or our kids will get a second job, so they have more money over the holidays. 
uh, if we have a scarcity of oil, well, let's uh, drill in Alaska or let's drill offshore uh, to get more oil. Okay. Sometimes we make better use of our resources. So I want to watch TV, but I have to grade papers. Well, maybe I'll do both at the same time. Uh, or I'll take my uh, date to a matinee movie when it's cheaper and uh, use a coupon when we buy dinner. Uh, or maybe I'll carpool to work, uh, so I'll save gas money. Uh, real costs, uh, just real quickly, a definition. All the resources used to produce a good or service are considered real cost, and more, most resources can be used for only one thing at a time. Uh, the real cost of building a bridge instead of a building, uh, if you have uh, construction workers cannot uh, work on the building, on building a new building if they're building a bridge. The crane cannot be used to build a new building because you're building a bridge. And steel used in the bridge cannot be used in building a new building. That's the real cost. The idea of real cost leads us to trade-offs. A uh, definition of trade-offs when you choose between two possible uses for a resource, you're giving up one alternative for another, or you're giving up a whole bunch of alternatives. Okay? So example, if you build the bridge, you're not building a building. Uh, I can buy this book or pizza, but I can't buy both. So the trade-off, if I buy the book, is the pizza. Trade-offs lead us to opportunity costs. When you make a trade-off, there are costs. The value of time, money, goods, services given up in an economic choice. The number one alternative is the opportunity cost. So the one thing you gave up that would have given you the most satisfaction out of all those trade-offs, that's the opportunity cost. By doing this, I give up the opportunity to do that. If we build the bridge, the next best thing we could have done with all those resources was build a building. So the opportunity cost is the building. Uh, if I buy a pizza, the next best thing I could have done, the number one alternative, was to buy a book. So the opportunity cost was the book. I bought the pizza, I can't get the book. Okay, if you look at this chart, this is a chart showing the trade-offs between sleep versus study. Uh, the first option is you can study uh, an hour extra. Uh, the benefit is you'd get at least a C on the test. The opportunity cost is you're going to lose an hour of sleep because you're spending an hour studying. Another option would be uh, two hours of extra study time. That would boost you up to a B, but again, you'd lose two hours of sleep. That'd be the primary opportunity cost. And then the third option, three hours of extra studying. That could boost you to a B plus or an A, but there you lose three hours of sleep. Okay. Uh, just think to yourself for a second, what is the opportunity cost of going to college? What are some of the benefits to going to college? Think about that for a second. And then also think about what you would give up uh, if you decide to go to college. What are the opportunity costs, those trade-offs? Okay. So obviously some benefits are a higher income, more job opportunities, uh, job opportunities in a career you actually enjoy, job opportunities in more places, uh, opportunity costs. We know uh, college costs a lot of money, and you're going to have student loans uh, maybe for several years after college that you have to pay back. Uh, you're stuck in school at least four more years. And even when you get out, uh, although you might have a degree, there's no guarantee you'll get the job that you want, where you want it, or when you want it. And what if you change your mind? Maybe you're in the middle of college and you spend all this money and that's not really what you want to do. You don't want to be a teacher. You don't want to be a doctor. Then you got to go to school even longer. Okay, so that's the end of our uh, presentation here. Hopefully you learned a little bit about scarcity, opportunity costs, uh, and trade-offs, and uh, I'll see you in class.